Mayor Boudreau, a long time ago, if you measure in minutes, at yesterday's meeting, when asked about her personal relationship with Jim Dusha and how it presents a glaring and undeniable conflict of interest, Mayor Pro Tem Lefebvre absurdly attempted to argue, quote, I'm not sure what the conflict of interest is. We hardly talk. He is a neighbor. He supported me. Yes, he put a sign in his yard, and there's nothing illegal or wrong about that. She then went on to indicate that Jim Dusha has the highest levels of integrity, honesty, and transparency, though I'm starting to strongly suspect she doesn't understand what any of those words actually mean. Curiously, Mayor, what she did not volunteer was that Jim Dusha didn't just have her sign in his yard. In fact, he endorsed her candidacy in a video that then-candidate Lefebvre prominently featured on her campaign social media outlets. Here it is. I'm retired Long Beach Police Chief Jim Dusha. I had the privilege of serving on the United Way Board of Directors for five years when Kalei Lefebvre was the CEO. Her leadership style included integrity, loyalty, honor, ethics, and morals. Kalei has always had a deep devotion and a heart for the citizens and the city of Longview, and she will listen to your concerns. Please join me in voting for Kalei Lefebvre for Longview City Council, Position 1. Thank you. Mayor, at this point, I genuinely question if Mayor Pro Tem Lefebvre knows how to tell the truth. What I do know is that yesterday's developments were merely a continuation of a veritable criminal conspiracy that was first attempted on February 8th. Despite your majority desperately trying to keep the story together, yesterday, Ms. Lefebvre accidentally let a big cat out of the bag by saying, Jim Dusha is looking forward to working with the city. Golly, Mayor, how on earth could she have known that? For that matter, don't you think it's strange how Council Members Halverson and Young both quickly chimed in as if Jim Dusha was the planned replacement all along? Mayor Boudreaux, you know I have sincerely tried imploring you and the majority to stop criming. But here we are, and as Caesar said on the banks of the Rubicon River, alia eacta est. At this point, unless you are now willing to entertain and support a motion for the minority to undo everything you did yesterday and literally beg Chris Swanson to not destroy your life with indefensible litigation, my advice to you now is to lawyer up fast. But have no illusion. The rule of law is coming for you and your majority. And she is ravenous.